these these kids have done everything they've been asked to do for for months. Basically, self quarantine for months. They've weighed the benefits versus the risk of playing the game that they love, and um, in his opinion, in our opinion as parents, the, the benefits outweighed the risk, and um, to have that hold after the work they put in for the last three months without any more information is, is sad for those kids. Is it hard to understand why three of the top five power five leagues are going ahead? Certainly, the inconsistency, and, and look, there's, there's no guidebook to a pandemic. We all understand that. Um, so, you know, it, it really is frustrating to see some other um, kids get an opportunity to make their own decision. Um, and that's really what we want. Um, you know, our kids and our parents feel that we have the right to make those decisions for ourselves. Can you talk about the unity among, uh, you know, parents from different teams in the Big Ten, and Iowa fans here? Yeah, um, you know it's it's been it's been great, right? I I think um, obviously the people at Iowa and a number of other other universities here in the Big Ten have have done the same things and feel the same way we do. Look, we we all love the game of football. We feel there's a risk every day that those kids go out on a football field. We all understand that. Our kids understand that. And the added risk now with this COVID pandemic to our to our players to our sons is is really nil, right? So. You know, let them play if we could. Now, I'm not sure that's what we're here to accomplish today, but at least we'd like to hear more information as to what the Big Ten based their decisions on. Were the Ohio State parents satisfied with the response from the Ohio State administration and coaching staff and anybody that you guys were able to correspond with? Um, yeah, I, I, look, we, we love Ohio State University. Ohio State University has backed our kids um, beyond belief and done everything they can possibly do. And again, that's what's so frustrating. I think the coaches, the athletic department, the doctors that were around Ohio State, again, felt in weighing the risk versus the benefit for the kids. They thought it was, they thought it was um, worth it to try to give a shot for these kids to play. And clearly there's some other information, apparently, that they weren't aware of and that we weren't aware of. And that's what we'd like to hear today. Have they illustrated why they couldn't go out on their own and play their own schedule or, or with a, a group of other Big Ten schools like-minded that wanted to play? Um, you know, I haven't heard a whole lot of talk about that. I think there's a there's certain unity um, in the Big Ten Conference, which we certainly appreciate. The Big Ten Conference has a lot of history. And I, and I think as much as maybe some teams would like to break away from that, I think there's just too much history there and, and too much long-term damage to the Big Ten to do that. What about moving forward? What do you guys want to see? Winter ball, spring ball? I mean, is that some of the details that sort of are still mysterious and you want to? Yeah, there's a, there's a couple different scenarios out there. I certainly think um, a winter season, if they could do it in January and February, would be best. Um, we would love to see that. I think that's the best case scenario that we could hope for at this point. And certainly that's what... Um, I personally would like to see. Um, I can't speak for anybody else, but I know that's what I'd like to see. How if hard you could is ask it? A commissioner, one or two questions. What would be the, at the very top of your list? I want to know what information they base this decision on. Clearly, there's a lot of people out there that have information. The SEC, the ACC, the Big 12. What information do they have that's different than the Ohio State doctors, the Ohio State athletic administration? And the Ohio State coaches have. What's different about your information than anyone else's? Because clearly some people think that there's not a whole lot of risk. That's certainly what I think, uh, in my own opinion. But um, certainly some people think there's some other things that we'd like to know what that information is. Would you like to hear from more of the Big Ten presidents too? I mean, they ultimately make the decision. I know that your Ohio State president was supportive of continuing, but most of them were. Yeah, I, I would like to um, hear again what was what different information did the presidents have than the team doctors, than the athletic administrators. We would we would certainly like to know that, and that's our aim for today. How, how is Tom handling this news? What's that? How is your son handling this news? Uh, look, uh, certainly all the kids, um, my son included, were uh, really disappointed with the decision. They had spent three months basically self quarantined doing what everything they needed to do according to the NCAA and Ohio State to have a chance to play a season. And to have it pulled out really quickly, a few days after a schedule was announced, clearly there was a lack of communication between the university presidents and the athletic administrations. 
how, how hard is it when you have you know NFL decisions to make and now you, you have to maybe play a winter or spring season? Yeah, it, 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 it definitely for the older kids who are draft eligible has has um, more implications than a younger son, right? I mean, I have a younger son. I have a freshman at University of Buffalo. Obviously, the MAC also canceled their season. Um, not quite as big a deal, although disappointing for him as well, but certainly for the people who are draft eligible, there's an awful lot to think about.